Good morning. I'm here with Andy Grubb, who is the State Executive Director for Planned Parenthood in Nebraska. Welcome. Thank you. It's so great to be here. We wanted to talk to you today because the Planned Parenthood of the North Central States was selected as a Share the Plate recipient for this year, or this church year. And um, what that means is that in our spring meeting, our members vote. They usually start off with a list of about 30 or 40 organizations and narrow that down to 10. Um, Planned Parenthood has been a favorite for decades. Um, I don't know if you know this background, but the uh, Unitarian Church was one of the founding members of the Planned Parenthood here in Nebraska and, and really has supported it um, for a long time. So I really appreciate you being here with us today and um, I look forward to talking to you. Thank you. And, and yes, I'm very aware of the history. It's fantastic. Um, it's one of my favorite stories to tell about Planned Parenthood in Nebraska. It's, it's just the, the faith community and their involvement in, in making this possible. Yeah. Well, um, I know that there's a lot that we could talk about right now. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of a lot of upheaval in our nation currently around these issues. And I thought I would ask you to start by just talking a little bit about the mission of Planned Parenthood. And because I feel like there's a lot of myth and misnomers about what Planned Parenthood is and does. There are, that's, that's very accurate. Um, so, so our direct mission is to provide, promote and protect sexual and reproductive health um, through health services, education, and advocacy. So again, really looking at kind of all of the different ways that our community needs access to sexual and reproductive health care, including abortion, and, and making sure that, that we're kind of surrounding, um, you know, not just the healthcare services, which we're pretty well known for, but also our education programming so that folks have um, the information and the resources that they need to make decisions and, and you know, live their lives in, in the most healthy way for them. And also, you know, again, we know better than ever right now that protecting access to those things is absolutely crucial to continuing. I guess I was going to say, what are your greatest challenges right now? Um, <laughs> but, you know, somebody might be watching this video far into the future and not realize what's happening in September of mm -hmm. 2021. So yeah. maybe you could talk a little bit about that. Our biggest challenge right now is that we are in the most unprecedented time in history in regard to um, attacks on, on the services that we provide. Um, very specifically on abortion, we saw the um, state of Texas pass the most restrictive and, and you know honestly horrifying law we've ever seen regarding abortion. Um, at the beginning of this month, uh, at the beginning of September. And, you know, we're seeing states get excited about trying to copy that. Um, we had our very own Lieutenant Governor on Saturday saying he hopes that's what happens in Nebraska. Um, uh, this fundamental threat to um, people's bodily autonomy and ability to make choices for themselves is is in a place we've never seen it before. Um, and, and fighting that is, is our number one priority and challenge um, across the country and very specifically in Nebraska. So um, what's, what is the scope of um, the area that North Central States serves right now? How many states is it? So Planned Parenthood North Central States is five states. Um, it is Nebraska and Iowa, Minnesota, North Dakota, and South Dakota. Okay. Um, so we have 29 health centers across those five states, um, two of which are officially in Nebraska, and then one we've kind of adopted in Council Bluffs. <laughs> okay. And... Are there um, ways that our members and friends could help Planned Parenthood? I mean, today we're here in part to raise some money to help further the cause, but are there other ways that we can get involved? Absolutely. There's um, right now getting folks engaged in this work is, is more crucial than ever. And 
And I always hesitate because I feel like we say that a lot and it's because this work has been under tech for so long. But like I said, this is, this is a new era. This is just a level of attacks that we didn't think would ever happen. Um, so we need to mobilize people. We need folks speaking up and speaking out that they do not want these restrictions in our state. Um, you can do that through sharing information with folks, like even just the opportunity to share here with, with folks in your congregation is um, more opportunities like that are always welcome. Any chance we can get to really share with folks the impact that these types of restrictions have on communities, on the people in Nebraska. Um, so speaking out on social media, sharing things that we, we post so that folks really understand what's going on, um, trying to kind of get past that misinformation that can get out there so easily. Um, another one is contact your senators, contact your state senators and tell them we are not gonna stand for this, that, that we're not Texas, we don't want to be Texas, we are Nebraska and we respect people's um, ability to, to take care of themselves and take care of their own bodies and make their own decisions. Um, so speak up to your senators. You can always volunteer with us. We have lots of opportunities right now um, to be involved in, in the mobilization of folks across the state. Um, obviously, financial donations are incredibly helpful both to keep um, the, the expert reproductive and sexual health care that we provide going on, on a regular basis and also to, to keep this fight up as well. Um, so yeah, that's just a handful of ways. And obviously our, our website is always pretty well updated with things that folks can do, but um, I know Lincolnites are, are pretty pretty good at raising their voices when, when it's warranted and this is the time. So that's, okay. that's the number one thing I would ask. Okay, great. Um, and do I understand that there's a way to sign up to volunteer through the website? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Um, and if it'd be helpful, I can I can make sure y'all have access to that. And we can get okay, it, get it in your great. Notes. Yeah, I know, um, of course, you know, several people who do volunteer and um, over the years, it's it's shifted and changed quite a bit. Um, yeah. In the, the quote old days, um, a lot of our members and friends were escorts. Yep. Um, and, and since then it's, it's changed a bit, but, um, I know that there are folks who, um, really appreciate the fact that Planned Parenthood is in our community solid and, um, wants to help keep it going. So, yeah. um, so there's something coming up in the next few days, uh, yes. that y'all are in, in, uh, a part of, do you want to talk about that yeah. a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. So across the country on October 2nd, um, there are rallies and marches and um, actions taking place to, to just really make it known that Americans collectively and Nebraskans specifically do not want restrictions to abortion access. Um, so in Lincoln, we'll be meeting at the Capitol um, at noon and there will be a march and then there will be some speakers. Um, little preview here that our amazing Dr. Deborah Turner, um, who's a provider in, in Nebraska for Planned Parenthood, will be speaking. She's one of my favorite people on the planet. So um, it's, it's pretty exciting that, that she'll be there. Um, but yeah, we want as many folks there as possible. If you happen to not be able to make the Lincoln one, there's one in Omaha as well. Um, there's actions taking place across the country. And, and the goal is really to, to just make it incredibly clear to decision makers, lawmakers, um, judges that, that we are not okay with these kinds of restrictions. Absolutely. Um, we talked a little bit off camera about um, the ways that the pandemic has affected Planned Parenthood. Do you want to talk a little bit about that or how it, you know, what, you know, what challenges that has brought? Absolutely. Um, it, you know, the, the pandemic is, has really changed, I think, the way all of us function in day-to-day -day life. Um, and, and I think some of those changes are going to stick around. I think, um, you know, initially it was, it was really challenging. Our, our primary goal was to make sure that patients continue to receive the healthcare that they needed, um, to receive the education that they needed. Um, our teams are incredible and they, they worked through that pretty quickly. We had um, telehealth services up and running 
within two weeks of the start of the pandemic um, and, and have been able to continue those, which is pretty incredible um, as a, an additional way to provide access to certain services for our patients. Our education team has been doing Zoom education classes across um, the state, and that's been amazing as well because we've been able to reach folks that, you know, when we were physically in person all the time, we we weren't able to reach for location or or whatever it may be. So, um, we've the upside in a weird way is that we've actually been able to expand access um, mm-hmm. for a lot of people across the state, which is which is pretty great. Um, the challenging side, you know, right now we just hiring is really, really hard. <laughs> um, staffing and and those types of things. We um, I, this is something that folks across across the country are dealing with. Healthcare is particularly challenging. Um, we are, you know, unfortunately losing some amazing people because other amazing opportunities are opening up for them. Um, and, and we're having a hard time filling positions. So um, I know our, our Lincoln friends have been very patient with us. Our, our staff in Lincoln is a little thinner than it's been <laughs> um, in recent years, but we're working on it. We've got some some good plans. We just need to find the amazing people to fill those plans. So sure. um, so stay patient with us. And so I, if you ever wanted to work at Planned Parenthood, now yes, is the time to apply. Now's the time, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So do you, you said that um, there are some upsides. Do you think that expanded access is something that will you'll keep with the education piece? Absolutely. Um, our education team has, has already started going back into some classrooms, um, but there's some places that they've just continued to do virtual um education programming because that's the preference of the folks involved and it's it's the easiest way for them to have access. So we've really kind of broadened what we can offer to folks um, as a result and we'll absolutely keep that. That's a really that's positive great. thing. Um, the telehealth services, to me, this is just one of the greatest success stories of the organization over the last year and a half um, through some incredibly challenging times. We, we have seen our telehealth services expand and grow um, exponentially just in the last, particularly in the last six to eight months here in Nebraska, as folks have gotten more used to it and they've become more aware of the availability of services. Sure. Um, but, you know, one of my absolute favorite stories about our telehealth services and um, just knowing the incredible support that the Unitarian Church has always been for the LGBTQ plus community. I feel like this is an appropriate story. Um, one of our top services through telehealth right now is gender affirming hormone therapy. And we've been able to provide that service. We've been providing that service in Lincoln for years. It was one of the first Planned Parenthoods in the country to offer it. Um, but in with telehealth, we've been able to expand and it's actually become one of the most popular services we offer because of, of you know, the folks that we're able to reach with that who now don't have to go into a provider. They don't have to drive right. somewhere. They can do everything remotely. Um, and we had a patient really early on that I still like it chills thinking about that um, lives seven hours away from the closest Planned Parenthood on the border of Wyoming um, in in Northern Nebraska. And they had been searching, they live in a small town, you know, there was no one anywhere near them that's providing this kind of service and definitely know where they feel safe even asking about it. And they were getting it online. And as soon as this telehealth option became available, they were able to see a healthcare professional. They were able to get everything regulated in the right way. And they said they felt better than they had ever felt. And it was, I mean, it's exactly the kind of service that that we want and, and should be providing to, that's to great. folks across our state. Yeah, yeah. I, that's, that's great to hear. Um, yes, that's a, definitely a, a passion of of ours is uh, allowing people to live uh, their their true selves. So absolutely, that's amazing. I love that story. <laughs> well. Um, I appreciate uh, everything that you've shared with us. Is there anything that you want else that you can think of that you'd like to throw in the mix? Um, I mean, of course, I just want to thank you all the, again, the continued um, support and commitment from, from the Unitarian Church and particularly in Lincoln has, has just been instrumental in Planned Parenthood's success. Um, and, and having y'all stand with us 
through a lot over the many years right um is incredible and and we're really lucky to have support from folks like you so thank you all yeah, very you much. bet you bet it's gonna it's gonna continue and and we'll get through this i think um you know we're we're all a bit weary of um yeah these extra challenges we've had the last 18 months, but um, I'm, I think we're seeing some light at the end of the tunnel. And yeah. I just encourage everyone to just hang in there and, and uh, ride it out, you know? Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. It's, um, it's going to be a challenge. There's no question about it, but, but I think we we're on the right side of it and definitely. And, we well, got to we'll fight. Hope, but hope we're to see fight. a bunch of us um, all together on Saturday and yay on the right side of history again. And um, appreciate you being with us today. Absolutely. I appreciate y'all having me. I'm going to close real quick by saying that if you'd like to give a contribution to share the plate in October of 2021 to Planned Parenthood of the North Central States, all you need to do is text UC Lincoln and the amount to 73256. And you can also give the old fashioned way by sending in a check or giving through our online database on Realm. Thanks again for being with us, Andy. It was a pleasure talking with you and I hope to see you soon. Thanks so much.